Well, hello everybody. It's Ronnie with Whip and Chain. I am bringing you this beautiful turtle coaster tutorial today. Absolutely adorable. Very easy work up. And please use 100% cotton yarn. You will need some eyes, a stitch marker, darning needle, pair of scissors, and I am using, I love this cotton, I'm telling you, my favorite yarn. Uh, this one's called Woods, and the other one, the green, is called Bright Green. Okay. And we're going to dive right into this. Okay, so we can get you going on it. All right. For your first part of the turtle, we are going to be making uh, his his shell. So I want you to start with a magic ring. If you're not comfortable with that, you can chain four. And then in that center, I want you to chain two. If you're doing the magic ring, I just need you to chain one more. All right. So in this circle, we're gonna put in 12 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Pull your center closed, and then I want you to slip stitch to your first stitch. Okay, chain two, and we're going to put two double crochets in each stitch. So then we end up with 24 double crochets. Thirteen, and I'll see at the end. Okay. After you're done the twenty-four, you slip stitch to your first stitch. Okay. Chain two. Put two double crochets in that first stitch. One and two. Okay, in the next stitch, put one double crochet. And then in the next stitch, you put two. And then one. And then two.
Okay, I'll see at the end. Okay, we're coming around. The last one is just a one. And you slip stitch. Okay. Chain two. One, two. And in the first three, your first one and three all together. No, first two. Ah. First two, right? One. Yep, first two. Put in the first one. Put one double crochet in your first stitch. And put another single in the next. And then you put in two in the next. Okay. And then one in the next two. One and one. And then two. Okay, I'll see you around. Okay, coming around. Last two singles. And then you slip stitch to your first chain. And this next row is the last row for this. So what you'll do is you'll chain two, put two doubles in that first stitch. One and two. And now you put one double in the next three. One, two, and three. And then you put two. Okay. So now again, it's one in the next three. One. Two, three, and then two. Right, I'll see you when I come around. Okay. And then you just slip stitch. Do your first stitch. And then you cut. And then you can weave in if you'd like. So that's his shell, okay? Now we're gonna work on his head. This is where I do recommend that you use a stitch marker. Because for these, you work in the rounds. So I do recommend a magic circle, but if you don't want to, again, use a magic circle, chain three and then slip stitch to the first stitch. Okay. Now these, in here, you put in six single crochets. One. Oh, am I going off the camera? One. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And then you're going to go around and put two in each. And remember, you do not slip stitch. So what I do recommend is when you go in, and the first one, and you put in your two single crochets in that first stitch. One, two. I am gonna recommend they put a stitch marker in your first stitch. So you know where you're at. 
Okay. So, after you come around and you do your 12, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Eleven and twelve. And now in the next round you'll put two in the first stitch. And one and two. And then put your stitch marker back in. And then you do one. And then the next stitch is two. One and two. And then one. And then two. And one, and two, and one, oh. and then two, two. One, two, and one. All right. So now we're going to do the next row, another increase, which is going to be two in the first and then one in the next two. So it'll be two, one, one, two, one, one. After you go around to that row, then the last increase row would be two and one in the next three, okay? So let me repeat, the next row after this row will be two in the first one and one in the second. Two, one, two, one, two, uh, no, two, one, two, and one and one, sorry. All right, and then the next row would be two and one, 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 two, one, one, one. All right, that your stitch count will be at 30, okay? After you do your 30, I want you to do five rows of matching stitch to stitch. So let me repeat going over this. You'll start off with six single crochets, and you're working in the round, so you do not want to slip stitch. First round is all six. Round after that is two single crochets in each stitch. That'll lead you to 12. 12 stitches total. The next row, the first one you'll put in two, and the next one you'll put in one. So it's two, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around. Next round would be two in the first and one in the next two stitches. So it's two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one. And then the last row will be two, one, 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 two, one, one, one. After you get to that, and your count is 30 stitches. It will look like this. And I have a knot at the end, so I apologize. So anyway, this is what it will look like. So what you're going to do here, 
you're going to put a single crochet. in the first three stitches. That was one, two, and three. And then you're done a decrease. So you're gonna go in your stitch, grab some yarn, go in the next stitch, grab some yarn, wrap, and go through all three. Okay, so again, you're gonna go one single, one single, one single and then a decrease okay one single one single one single and then decrease okay so it's one one and one and then a decrease and then a decrease And then a decrease. Okay. See, there's my wonderful knot. You ever have those days where everything seems to just take you a little longer to do? That is my day today. Today is not one of those days where everything's just easy. Today is one of those days where everything's very hard. And that's okay. That is life sometimes. And I've learned sometimes when I just rock with it, sometimes it goes a lot better. So now is the time. for you to add your eyes. This is just a muck one I'm doing, so I'm not gonna actually hook them, but I'm putting them up one, two, third row up. So I would put one here, then I'm counting about five stitches, two, five stitches apart and then you just make sure you're happy with them make sure you're happy with the size of them and then you can just snap on the backs okay but like I said this is just a mock what I'm doing for tutorial purposes but now is the time you do want to put your eyes in and make sure you put on the safety back back backs on them now, if these are going to be used by little children, I would recommend that you just um, maybe use some black cotton thread and sew on the eyes so they're not a choking hazard for young children. Okay. So then, your next row is going to be two single crochets. And then a decrease. Okay. And then a decrease. After you do this row, the next row will be a one single crochet 
and then a decrease. After you've finished the one single crochet and decrease, I will recommend that you stuff them, okay? And then all you do is keep decreasing till you can't close it and then stitch it shut like I've shown in many videos. All right. Now, that is the head. Now, if you're making the feet and all for the back feet, you know how for the head we did six single crochets and then doubled you doubled each stitch to 12, then the next stitch to 18, and then the next round to 24. You will make two of those discs for his front feet, and then you will stop at the 18 count for two for his back feet, okay? Make sure you leave a little bit of yarn, because after you make these, I want you to just fold them like this, and then you stitch them shut. You fold them, and then you will just stitch them Shut like little uh, half moons all the way. Okay, so you will do that. So you'll make two and two. And for the tail, for the tail, I want you to start off with chain um, your magic circle or your chain three, yeah, and you will start off with five single crochets. Not six, five. And then the next row you'll double, and that'll be ten. And then you do two rows of matching ten to ten. And then when you get that tail, you also fold it in the half moon and sew it shut. Okay? So then, after all that, your head and all, what I did for my heads... is I positioned the head I did first because it's the best thing to if you can place that where you want it then you can put the rest of everything where you want it what I did is I smushed my head believe it or not and got a flat spot and I didn't go to the very end I went the second stitches in from each side and I sewed it but I used the shell color really tight on these chains here and in there just so really tight and then when you let go your head will sit and it will only cover a little piece of it okay now when you're doing the rest of him the next piece I would recommend is to do his tail and see how mine his tail sits up just a little bit I like that what I did is I folded the tail in front, and as you can see, I sewed it this way. That way, when it was all done, his little tail would stick up a little bit. And as for the legs, the big ones go in front, little ones on the back, and I just attached them right at the corners. That way, they're, they're still movable like a little turtle. And that is how we made the turtle coaster isn't I just love him he's absolutely gorgeous they're not that hard to make they are in in my world they are a little consuming time wise but you know if you want to make maybe like four of them you know or you can make as many as you want by all means but this is how I did mine and I want to thank you guys for taking all the time you've taken to watch my tutorials. We are, I think, seven people away from hitting our thousand. I can't believe it. In under a year. So, um, thank you for all the love. And if you did enjoy this tutorial, can you please 
hit that like button at the bottom and the subscribe button. And you're more than welcome to come find us on Facebook under WIP for Work in Progress and Chain. And again, my name is Ronnie and I work with Maggie and Lauren. We hope to see you soon. Happy crocheting.